Welcome to the Forcepoint Next Generation Firewall. This presentation will demonstrate how you can unify your enterprise security policy using Forcepoint Next Generation Firewall. Managing hundreds of policy can be time consuming. Administrators often find themselves configuring repetitive rules for each firewall, and this might cause human error. This can be easily overcome with Forcepoint Security Management Center. By using Forcepoint SMC, you can reduce the amount of data that needs to be reviewed and audited. So let's take a closer look at the unified security policy. To do that, we go to the firewall policy section. If firewalls in your enterprise share the same sets of policy, we can deploy them among these firewalls. But if they share only certain rules that are similar, we can group them using a hierarchical policy. This allows a greater control in policy management and save lots of time. If you want to make a change to the policy we've got in place, you can edit the existing policy. To do that, for example, you just double click the policy. As you can see, the access policy is a visual list of rules that determines what's allowed and denied by the firewall. These decisions can be made based on network application, URL filtering, URL category, user, group, network zone, geographical location, IP address, subnet, range, domain name, time of day, or any combination. So let me give you an example on how you can add a new rule. First, you edit the policy. In this case, let's go ahead and allow anyone in the corporation to have access to the internet. Right click, and you can add a rule before or after. In this case, let's do after. So anyone in the company going out in this case, let's do HTTP, HTTP with a URL logging and HTTPS with decryption. So we will allow it. Again, if we right click and go to the option, we can turn on the file filtering option. Let's create another rule where anyone in the company accessing online banking or trading sites, their traffic will not be decrypted due to privacy and regulatory purposes. Let's create another rule where anyone in the company accessing BitTorrent will be discarded. So we type BitTorrent, comes up, Traffic will be discarded, so let's go to the option and add a response whenever they go to the site where they get a warning. However, after speaking to John and Mary manager, there is a business need for John and Mary to have access to BitTorrent, so let's create um, an exception for them. And to make sure that John and Mary are not abusing the traffic, I'll give them a low priority. Okay, let's look at it. So I've now built a control allowing John and Mary to actually do BitTorrent with small amount of traffic allocated for them. So it doesn't impact mission critical business application and actively blocking BitTorrent for other individuals. So if this is the only change I would like to make, I can click on save and push and it will allow me to update hundreds if not thousands of devices instantaneously by simply clicking OK. Here we see all the devices that the policy will be applied to. So let's go ahead and click OK. It will push the policy to all the force point firewall, regardless of the physical location, whether your devices are on the cloud, at the data center, or remote location. 
Once the policy push is done, you will have all the changes you've put in place implemented in near real time across your entire organization. So let's just wait until the policy push is completed. Okay, the policy push is completed. By using Forcepoint Security Management Center, you can unify and coordinate your access policies and enjoy centralized management of your data security. So this concludes today's brief overview on how you can unify your enterprise security policy using Forcepoint Next Generation Firewall. For more information about Forcepoint Network Security products, please visit www dot forcepoint.com slash ngfw